The Boom Technology team aims to shake up the aviation market, as its name suggests. The first XB-1 flight test was held on March the 22nd, with the prototype reaching a speed of around 439 km per hour. This is significant, because the XB-1 aims to revive supersonic air travel. Its technology will later be used in the production of the Overture airplane, expected to reach speeds of Mach 1.7, equivalent to over 2,000 km per hour. The Overture will accommodate up to 80 passengers and have a range of 7,870 km. Testing for the Overture is slated to commence in 2027, with passenger transportation documents expected by 2029, according to the company. Urban commutes may also change in the future, according to the ACE VTOL team. They've introduced two concepts, Slipstream Elite and Trinity. The first is a two-seat electric car capable of vertical takeoff and landing, equipped with remote control, artificial intelligence algorithms, and four plasma engines. Quite ambitious. The second concept is even more impressive, also functioning like an electric car that takes off and lands vertically. But this version can accommodate up to seven passengers and reaches a cruising speed of 354 km per hour, with a range of about 200 km. While these numbers are impressive, whether these concepts will become reality remains uncertain. Our videos have featured various lunar transportation concepts, some of them beautiful but far from reality. However, Toyota has taken the matter seriously and unveiled their concept, developed with the support of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Expected to debut on the moon by 2040, the concept, named the Toyota Lunar Cruiser, is comparable in size to two minibuses. It's designed for two people under normal circumstances and four in emergencies, boasting a range of over 10,000 kilometers. Additionally, the Japanese team has equipped the concept with a robotic arm, capable even of sweeping, because it's important to maintain order on the moon. The End Frontier Euler isn't just a toy or a gimmick, it's a fully-fledged electric car weighing only 70 kilograms. Despite its light weight, it can travel up to 70 kilometers, reach speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour, and comfortably seat two people. But here's the interesting part. You can charge the battery by pedaling. Plus, you can ride this marvel of technology without a license, and even on bicycle paths. And it's not just about the ride. Euler will also feature multimedia capabilities, adding music to the journey. Additionally, its autonomous parking system will prove highly useful at your destination. The estimated price will be well under $10,000. Whether ERA will become a production vehicle is still uncertain. However, even as a show car, it provides insight into the direction future cars are taking. Firstly, it's clear that environmental consciousness will continue to be a trend. Thus, some parts of the car are made from algae and recycled plastic. Secondly, it's time to leave the internal combustion engine behind. The era runs on hydrogen fuel cells, boasting an impressive 540 horsepower. Lastly, the farther the better. The car will have enough fuel for over 800 kilometers.
Callum's Sky epitomizes off-road style. Its creators have merged the comfort of urban crossovers with the ability of buggies to travel cross-country to create an electric car with a range of about 270 kilometers. It might not sound like much, but the battery charges in just 10 minutes. Interestingly, Callum's Sky will be available in several versions. Cherry, geared towards urban use, and Silver Orange, designed for off-road adventures. With an acceleration to 100 km per hour in approximately 4 seconds, Callum Sky promises an exhilarating ride. According to reports, the initial batch will be limited to just 50 units. Who's willing to shell out $126,000 for one, though? The Mansory team specializes in enhancing luxury cars like the Bugatti Veyron. They believe that regardless of future advancements, there will always be interesting custom tuning. For instance, Mansory recently unveiled this concept. This flying hypercar draws inspiration from iconic vehicles such as the Ferrari F50 and the Pagani Huayra, boasting plenty of carbon fiber and advanced aerodynamic features. While features like autopilot, remote control, and smart navigators are impressive, there's something special about manually controlling such a beauty that technology can't match. Motability Operations boasts Britain's largest rental fleet, so it's no surprise they understand their customers' needs well. That's why, in collaboration with the designers at Callum, they've developed this concept electric vehicle. Meet eVita, a van designed for wheelchair users. It can travel 322 kilometers on a single charge and is carefully designed with user convenience in mind. For instance, it features two charging ports, one at the front and one at the rear. The interior is adaptable, and when parking, a special light illuminates to signal to other drivers the need to leave space for wheelchair access. The SA2 project is a project from Hyundai unlike any other. Behind the simple name lies an intriguing flying cab already in the prototype stage. Let's check it out. This electric vehicle features vertical takeoff and landing, with claims that it's as quiet in flight as a refrigerator. It can swiftly switch between passenger and cargo configurations, accommodating up to four passengers and flying approximately 64 kilometers at a cruising speed of 193 kilometers per hour. Hyundai plans to start production of the SA2 in 2028. A ride on the Icon yacht feels like flying. Passengers glide above the water, enjoying comfort even at speeds of 61 km per hour. Can you imagine a more luxurious way to travel from point A to point B? The creators of the Icon certainly don't think so. Here's something cool. Two-time Oscar winner Hans Zimmer worked on the yacht's sound systems. Plus, the controls are unmatched compared to the competition. The 32-inch touchscreen display alone is impressive, not to mention the voice control feature. Of course, the interior and other features can be customized as needed. And with two electric motors of 100 kilowatts each, speed enthusiasts won't be disappointed. ETH isn't your ordinary camper. It's a futuristic transformer designed to make every journey comfortable, whether it's to the countryside, work, or visiting friends. Think of it as a mini apartment for various scenarios. 
Its first standout feature is the retractable sections that expand the area up to 37 square meters. The second is its ability to generate not only electricity, but also water, promising 25 kilowatt hours and 50 liters daily. With room for up to four people overnight, the ETH is like a mobile home for everyday use. It's set to be released in 2025. We discovered the following concept among entries for the Design Intelligence Award competition. According to its creators, this is the world's first all-electric 80-ton autonomous mining dump truck. Alongside fast charging, the truck features a battery that could be swapped out in five minutes, and it's equipped with a single operating system to control not only the dump truck, but also other similar vehicles. Navigation is managed using LiDAR, radar, sensors, and digital maps, enabling the truck to navigate various terrains. Additionally, it recharges while going downhill thanks to a recuperation system. Modern wind turbines are reaching heights of over 90 meters, with blades weighing more than 30 tons. And there's no stopping there. But how do you transport such colossal structures? Radia has developed the world's largest airplane for this purpose. Once completed, it will surpass even the Antonov An-225 Maria. This giant named Windrunner will boast a length of 108 meters and an impressive wingspan of 80 meters. Capable of carrying 72.5 tons of payload at speeds of 735 kilometers per hour, what's even more impressive is its ability to land or take off from a runway just 1.8 kilometers long. To put that into perspective, the Airbus A380 requires 3.3 kilometers. Commercial flights featuring the Windrunner are expected to commence as early as 2027. Zero CO2 emissions thanks to an electric propulsion system. Carbon fiber designed for recycling. Smart hydrofoils whose angle of attack is adjusted by the onboard computer. Moreover, the wings can be swiftly changed like the wheels in an F1 pit stop. These are just a few features of the future E. Its prototype underwent testing on the water last year. It's said that 85 kilowatts of power is enough to accelerate up to 65 kilometers per hour. However, there are only four seats. Times like these make you envy those who will get them. Is this an auto rickshaw, a scooter, or maybe a moped? Well, yes, yes, and yes. Meet Voy, a prototype that combines the best features of compact two-wheel transportation. By the way, Voy means elephant in Vietnamese, emphasizing the smart nature of this vehicle. Built in Singapore, the idea is straightforward. The vehicle has the maneuverability of a scooter and the safety of a car. Currently, powered by electricity, Voy can reach speeds of up to 45 km per hour and travel 80 km on a single charge. The pod is designed for passengers or cargo, with no controls in it. We wonder if using Voy as a cab would be cheaper. Ride into the future, suggests the team at Verge Motorcycles. All you need to do is hop on the Verge TS Pro. Everything in this bike has been simplified, including the removal of the chain. No need for coolant or gear oil either, which means less frequent maintenance. Moreover, the Verge TS Pro is an electric bike with impressive performance. 
It accelerates to 97 km per hour in just 3.5 seconds and reaches a top speed of 200 km per hour. With a single charge lasting for 349 km, you won't have to worry about running out of power too soon. And if you're eager to get back on the road, it takes just 35 minutes to charge the battery to 80%. This bike comes with a price tag of $30,000. According to the Sea Rider team, the revolution has arrived, and this time it's in jet skis. Thanks to Sea Rider, they've become much lighter than usual. Just compare the following numbers. The Sea Doo Spark weighs in at 194 kilograms, and it's one of the lightest on the market. Meanwhile, Sea Rider's new product weighs just 65 kilograms. It also stands out for its sharper steering, almost like on motorcycles and can accelerate up to 80 km per hour. And of course, it's electric and can be charged in just 50 minutes. These are all features of the Sea Racer model, which is available for pre-order at a modest price of $30,200. Completing today's lineup is the Jetson 1, your personal air transportation. While other companies design flying cars to resemble regular cars, the creators of the Jetson 1 offer something akin to a large drone, and this approach is proving successful. The demand is so high that they've already sold out all the vehicles that the company plans to produce this year and next. Even the price tag of $128,000 isn't deterring those eager to take to the skies. But it's no surprise, really. Firstly, in the United States, you can fly the Jetson 1 without a pilot's license. And secondly, it reaches speeds of about 102 km per hour. However, the battery only lasts for 20 minutes. Nevertheless, each flight is sure to provide an abundance of excitement to talk about with everyone for weeks to come.